So as you all know, we live in a world of idiots who think the occupation of the Capitol building by a load of meme lords was an act of terrorism and insurrection, and how insurrection against a tyrannical government is the most disgraceful thing you can do. They do this being based in a city named Washington <laughs> after a man who led an insurrection against a tyrannical government, with no irony whatsoever by the way, and obviously we are witnessing a big tech corporate coup in the United States, with them banning a sitting president so he has no voice, something even Angela Merkel, the leader of Germany, has said that is a serious problem for free speech. And I'll tell you what, if Germany are telling you that you are a fascist, you might want to look at yourself and adjust your behaviour. It's just a thought. And Twitter has been purging everyone with a right wing slant. I know I've lost half my followers and my full account on Facebook has been banned even though I don't use it anymore because these big tech idiots think if they ban you, then you're silenced. But all you've done is make them move to the Fediverse and Gab and Telegram. You've just driven them underground into a private and encrypted area where you can never see the very few dangerous ones. And this has just spurred more and more people to start developing decentralized social media on the blockchain. The big tech corporations have just signed their death warrants. You can't kill discourse and ideas no matter how much you want to, no matter how much you disagree with somebody, you can't tell them to shut up and they will shut up. Because they're not gonna. Humans don't work like that. But this is all doom and gloom, isn't it? So let's have a bit of happiness. So Uganda is having elections very soon. Now I'm not gonna deny that this is very likely an incredibly corrupt country, but Facebook and Twitter were doing their old tricks and censoring accounts. Notably official government ones. Where have we seen this before? Hmm. So what did Uganda do? Are you listening, America? They banned Facebook and Twitter from the country. <laughs> oh no! Did you ever play your hand, you weird alien and homeless looking motherfuckers? And it gets better! Here's Twitter's statement about the whole thing. Ahead of the Ugandan election, we're hearing reports that internet service providers are being ordered to block social media and messaging apps. Not true. We strongly condemn internet shutdowns. They are hugely harmful and violate basic human rights and the principles of the internet. Oh really? Does shutting down the internet harm human rights? Does thinking you are more powerful than the government and you are the one who gets to decide who says what harm that as well? Where do you stand on that Twitter and Facebook? The Ugandan government hasn't banned Gabbed, Mind, Clout Hub, or any of the other social media that is unlikely to collude to censor anyone, they banned you because you have a proven record of colluding to censor people, namely the President of the United States. So eat a dick, you overreaching monsters. Lose some more of your share values as advertisers realise you've just lost half of your users through your stupid virtue signalling. You're the problem. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thanks, bye!